Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine, and welcome to our ongoing series of short videos on, you know, how to make guns safe and actions, and just what we're trying to do here is teach you a few basic things about firearms. And today what we're going to talk about is, well, how do you make a lever action safe? You know, we're going to use a Marlin today, but this basic action, the lever, is the same in any number of guns from Winchester, Rossi, a lot of old antiques like 1886 Winchesters. What you learn today will help you to understand how you make virtually any lever action rifle you pick up safe. Let's remember, you have to adhere to all the firearm safety rules, and in particular when you're doing this, keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction, keep your finger outside of the trigger. At this point, we don't know if this gun is loaded or not. Most lever actions have an external hammer, you can see it right here on this Marlin. Well, that at least gives you an indication that this gun is not cocked. So, to make it safe, some guns will have a safety somewhere that you may have to manipulate in order to work the action. This particular Marlin has a cross bolt safety here. What you do, finger outside of the trigger, muzzle pointed in a safe direction, is merely cycle the action open like that. Now hopefully, if the gun isn't broken, any loaded round that was in the chamber would have been ejected. But remember, there may be more loaded rounds in the magazine. If a loaded round ejects, then I think it would be safe to assume there are more rounds in the magazine. How you unload those is a bit complicated because once you work the lever like this, you now have a cocked gun. And if you pull the trigger, if it's loaded, it will shoot. Once you unload the first round, the way you unload the rest of the magazine is keeping the muzzle pointed in a safe direction, keeping your finger outside of the trigger, you then just briskly manipulate the lever and it will eject the loaded rounds one after another. But this is a very delicate thing to do and you have to be very careful. And remember, don't point the muzzle at anything you're not willing to destroy while you do this. Now at this point, this gun can't go off. And you know what? That's what's important. Well, you know, I'm Roy Huntington, and I appreciate you tuning in for this video. And I want to stress something. This is in no way a comprehensive training video on how you manipulate or run a bolt action or a lever gun or any other kind of gun. If you want to learn how to use one, I think you need to go get some training. But it will give you an idea on how to make this gun safe should you encounter one. Hey, thanks again for tuning in. 